Well, hey everybody, this is your friendly neighborhood, Pastor Nate. Just checking in with you again to see how everyone is doing. So I want to encourage you to post in the comments everything that you've been up to because I do enjoy hearing about what everyone is uh, keeping themselves busy with in their own lives uh, as I'm connecting with you through these videos on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, something before I get into you know sharing with you something I've been thinking about today. I want to remind you that this Sunday we are still going to be having service the way that we have been uh, by doing our drive up service and you can connect through the service on either the radio or you can watch our live stream. But if you are choosing to come out and drive up and be in attendance at our service, we want to let you know that we're going to be doing something a little different this Sunday. This Sunday on the west side of the church on the gravel alleyway, you can drive through there uh, starting on the south side and going north towards the parsonage and as you're driving up you can get a some food and a cup of coffee to pick up before going to service they'll start serving at i believe 9 15 between 9 and 9 15 and then you can just go from there around to park for the service so if you want some uh, something to eat and something to drink to enjoy. I want to encourage you to be a part of that and let you know that we're doing that. Um, the thing, something I've been thinking about today is, uh, you know, I didn't really know what I wanted to talk about to you guys, but while I was coming into the office this afternoon, I got an unexpected video call from some of my friends and colleagues that I know from doing tours over to Israel and someone accidentally did a video call to everyone in the group and we a lot of us we answered it and we got online and we just were able to share life together and just see what we've been up to and it got me thinking about what Brian challenged our congregation with this past Sunday to contact three people in the congregation just to check in on them see how they're doing and share life with them and as I've been thinking about that, I draw, it drew me to Proverbs uh, 16, uh, specifically on verse 24. And I just want to read that to you. So again, this is Proverbs 16, 24. Gracious words are like honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. You know, we don't know what kind of an impact we make on people just with a simple phone call or a video call and you know i'm sure there's a lot of people out there right now that just need a kind word of encouragement and as we as a church family reach out to one another uh, it is good for the body it's good for the soul it's it's good for it lifts us up and we can actually speak life into one another and as you're in conversations i also want to encourage you to pray with the people that you're calling. Again, our challenge is to call three people from the congregation and just to let them know that you're thinking about them and caring about them. So I want to encourage you to do that. And I want to jump on with uh, Brian and the challenge to our family at Bethlehem Lutheran to call three members so that you can speak into their life, pray with them, and build up their body and their soul just by checking in. So that's what I wanted to share with you when I've been experiencing a little bit on my own today. But before I close, I want to leave us with the Our Daily Bread promise box. So let's see what we're praying about together. All right. So today, the scripture that we have pulled is Galatians 6, 9. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. So in our well-doing of connecting with each other, you know, let, let's not fall away from that. Let, let's not, let's not fail, or I don't like to use the word fail, but let's not negate those within our church family and, you know, not live out our faith in Christ by sharing words of life with our brothers and sisters. So let's, let's pray about that. Well, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I thank you that you encourage us to speak life into any situation. 
And I pray right now that you give us names of three people that we can call. Put, put three people in our crosshairs that you want us to invest in so that we can build up your kingdom just by words, by letting our words be like honeycomb to them, uh, by letting it be a sweetness that builds up their health and builds up their body. So engage us with our, our mind, engage us with our words so that we can allow your spirit to touch and be a part of every person that we contact. All this I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, thanks a lot. This is your friendly neighborhood pastor, Nate, and I will connect with you tomorrow. I want to encourage you to like and subscribe. Click that little bell if you're on YouTube so you can get notifications of when we're doing these videos. But for now, I'm out.